obviously last couple matches of the preseason, your overall assessment of the two squads? Um, wow, it was really very similar in both games. I think the first 15 minutes were extremely frantic. Uh, we, I, we were trying to match the energy, but we weren't we weren't intelligent about our approach to the first 15 minutes. And I think after that, uh, once it calmed down a little bit, uh, both teams looked very, very sharp. Um, getting some goals is good. Uh, I thought GCU was was awesome. They were, you know, really organized. They we knew they were going to run and run for days. The, um, and in the FC Tucson group in the first half, I think is they're still missing a few guys, and they have had some some guys that have some soft tissue injuries. So, but it was a great test for us. It was really really good learning moments. Um, I was happy to see Marcus score and, and have some guys kind of, you know, get off get off to a good start. So. Um, they all know that preseason ended tonight and, and this week now it's for three points and here we go. Not just one goal of course, but three for Marcus. What yeah. do you think that does for his confidence? Oh, it's everything for a goal scorer, you know. I think they're starting to figure each other out. About, it's not just the goal scoring, it's the timing of the runs. You know, when Aiden gets the ball and he's looking to his left, he can still play to the right-hand side of the field. And Marcus was kind of joking about it, that Aiden's range of passing has never been with someone like that. Santi and Babu are really starting to get a good connection. I love it. It's so exciting. Um, you know, unfortunately, I think James might have a, a bit of a hamstring, so... Uh, we, that's why we subbed Kev and, and Joey Farrell off. Just I think we're running low on defensive players, so um, we're, we'll, we'll be all right. You know, I think uh, Manu's come back. He, he looks good. He looks sharp, um, and, and we may have to look at, consider a move here, as everybody's expecting, I'm sure. Um, for the guys that uh, you know were able to finish the match, overall fitness. Do you think most guys are 90 minutes match fit? Uh, yes and no. You know, it's hard in a game like this when you're when you hit the 75th minute and maybe you're up 3-1 or 4-1 or something like that. Then there's nobody in the stands. The, the crowd's not really urging them on. It's it's hard. And um, the academy kids have been fantastic. You know, it's been so fun to put them in. Uh, you know, Blaze he played in both games tonight. One of our center backs. Um, I thought uh, uh, Jacob. Our center, young center mid played, started in the first game, and it was fantastic. The boys loved him. We had to move things around because he was doing really well. So, um, And then we were able to get Luke Schaefer in and a few of the other guys and give him a good run out. And, uh, it's, it's awesome because I think the academy's done a really good job over the last few years, and to see them now being able to step in and help us in preseason is, is what you're really looking forward to. It was about this time last preseason you called me Mr. Doom and Gloom. Let's yeah. flip it around a bit, all right? Two or three of the biggest positives you've got coming out of this preseason. Uh, we've got a very, very uh, good locker room. That, that's awesome. The chemistry, the team spirit, they, they all get along well. Uh, and the second thing is I think that uh, in the first 11 and, and maybe three or four, there's going to be some good competition, but I also think that very, very dynamic in every spot. So um, I feel really, really good. And again, at this point of the year, it's not about how good we can be now. It's what are we going to be like in October and November? And, um, you know, the, the players had a good meeting and talked about the goals for the season. And all they talk about is where we're going to be at the end. And, and I think the mentality is fantastic. How's Lalo doing? Looks like he. <laughs> yeah, he took a ball to the face yeah. and I think his jaw's a little sore, but. Uh, no concussion, nothing like that. I think he's he's going to be all right. He's uh, he's taken a few this preseason. It's been a tough one for him. Uh, do you think it's fair to say that, that Greg Hurst has probably had a slightly better preseason than Claudio? Um, I think Greg is a special player. You know, he's he's very very intelligent. His movement is fantastic. He's got great feet. Um, and in preseason, nobody's going in trying to kill you and and you know fight for their paycheck. And I think so. Um, hopefully he maintains this level, but this is perfect because I think Claudio is working hard and he's got a different type of skills and, and as does Richmond. I mean, Richmond scored a couple goals in preseason. I feel like between the three of them, uh, we're in a really, really good spot there. And, and I'm, not, I'm not too worried about us and our ability to score goals. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be about the consistency throughout the season defending as a group. You're probably not going to tell us today, but in your head at least, do you know who will be starting up at, up top next week? 
Well, I'd have to go back and kind of watch the two games today, but I, I'm not 100% certain or what system we're going to play. It's you know, I've been really pleased with playing with two up front. I think it shows a lot of ability to, for us to be flexible and be very, very good. So um, we'll see. We'll see how this week goes.